This is Mrs. Delk and I'm here to teach you the topic of slip and slide factoring. You use slip and slide factoring when the leading coefficient is not 1. In this case, our leading coefficient is 6. So we're going to manipulate this problem by multiplying the leading coefficient by the constant. So we're going to have x squared minus x minus 90 because 6 times 15 is 90. Then we have a nice trinomial that we can factor with a leading coefficient of 1. We look at the factors of 90 that have a difference of 1. So our factors of 90 that have a difference of 1 are 9 and 10. So we factor the trinomial with the 9 and the 10. The signs are going to be different. The largest one is going to be negative. So we have a negative 10 and a positive 9. Then we take our slip that we slid the 6 over. We're going to slide it back under. So each of these will have the 6 in the denominator again. Then we reduce our problem. So we want to make sure we reduce those fractions first. They have a common factor of 3. These have a common factor of 2. And then we're going to slide those denominators back in front of the x. So we end up with 2x plus 3 times 3x minus 5. So we now have this trinomial factored. It was made easier with the slip and slide method. This time I'm going to choose 12x squared plus 25x plus 7. Again, we have a trinomial that we're going to factor. The leading coefficient is not 1, so we're going to multiply the leading coefficient times the constant. 12 times 7 is 84. Then we say to ourselves, what are the factors of 84 that add up to be 25? So we're looking for the factors of 84 that add up to be 25. So we know that 4 times 21 adds up to be 25. So we're going to factor that into two binomials. And both signs were the same because we had to add up to be a positive 25. So we slipped our 12 over. Now we're going to slide it back under. So we take our 12 and slide it back under. Do not forget to reduce. So the number they have in common is a 4. So dividing each the numerator and the denominator by 4 produces 1 third. Over here, they have a common factor of 3, so dividing this by 3 on the top and the bottom. And then we slide our denominators back in front of the x. And there we have it. A trinomial that is factored into two binomials the slip and slide factory method. Thank you. Again, this is Mrs. Delk.